folks, and welcome back to Pattaya. We are on a cool, relaxing day out of town, just a short distance out of Pattaya. And if you're just getting caught up with us, uh, last time we spent the, the first part at Miss Noon's noodle shop here. It's called Doody. Doody, there she is with her speciality. So we had that in the last episode. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner if you want to get caught up on that. But it was time to head down to the beach for our second stop and it's a brand new exciting place. Now we're in Bang San proper. Brand new cool place called Highway. It looks like it looks from the road like an old American hot dog stand. Big bold colors, great big flashy neon signs. It's more like a hamburger joint. That's fine too. So I, I, I got a burger, they got soft chocolate chip cookies, they got milkshakes, uh, I, got a, I got an Italian soda, um, onion rings, the onion rings looks fantastic. So I've ordered everything up, I think the total and everything was about 300 baht for a whole big platter. I'll be eating most of this one because I only had a bite of the other. So it's my turn to eat here. That, is that fair? So inside Highway here, it is definitely the type of place people like to come and get their pictures taken because it's something different. It's that 50s diner style look. Uh, not, not too different than uh, my friend's place out at Route 66 Diner. I've showed you that. Who knows? This may have even been uh, inspired by that. But anyway, you come up to the counter and order. Now they do have the same thing that we saw at the noodle shop, the QR code on the table. But that is uh, just exclusively for viewing the menu. To order, you do you do belly right up to the counter there and place your order. And then they give you a hockey puck. And the hockey puck will, that'll tell you when your order's ready. You pick up the food up front, you pick up the drinks in the back. That's a little bit different. But it wasn't long till our hockey puck went off and there's my platter, so I'll go back and tell you all about it. The soda is awesome. The burger, it's a small guy, but a good flavor. It was good flavor, and I think for the 125 baht, it was fair. The, I could have got cheese for like an extra, I think, 15 baht, bacon for an extra 20 baht, and egg. I could have loaded it up a lot more. I just got the basic burger. These onion rings, I put these onion rings up against anybody's onion rings. They're very good, very crispy. They were served piping hot. Big, big chunks of onions in there. Like a little brown paper bag maybe that mama used to pack with a fresh homemade cookie inside. Look at that. These are like 30 baht. These are like a dollar for this cookie. That's kind of expensive, but we'll see what it is. Oh, V just came back in. It's got a lot of good chocolatey flavor, but a little dry, I like it more moist. It almost tastes like a brownie. Out here in the uh, wilderness is a really cool place, and that's where we're going next. We'll probably just get some drinks and stuff out there, but a great place to spend the afternoon and relax, so that's what we're gonna do. Right, a little little crowd of that on the beach, I guess to be expected, but it was time to leave the kind of the downtown Bang Sen area and head farther out in the country. Now, between the noodle shop and then the uh, highway diner there, V was kind of all hopped up on goofballs visiting these places, but she kind of quieted down for the last one here and was wondering where we were going because it's pretty far out in the country. In 400 meters, your destination will be on the left. So we're here. So this would be the dining room, right in this stream. <laughs> We're just looking for a table to sit down on. So as per our experience uh, thus far today, <laughs> this place is a bit busy, very, very busy today. It's a holiday. So uh, I'll explain where we are. We're, we're, I believe technically we're in Bang Pra, Bang Pra, just a little suburb of, between Bang Sen and Siracha, and kind of out in the country, out on the other side of the motorway from, from the Sukhumvit side. But 
I'll tell you what happened. It, the place I wanted to come was called the Farm Cafe. And we get there and we come down to the river and that's what I, I knew it was river. You sit in the river. Basically, you sit in the river and enjoy your coffee or your snack or whatever you're, you're doing. Like I'm set right now with my feet in the river. <laughs> But we get down there and all the tables look full, so we saw a bunch more tables down this way and we started walking. Unbeknownst to me, this is actually a separate restaurant. So one of these is Farm Cafe, I believe it's the one we started at, and I think this is Dasa Skimboard, something like that, because I'm a little confused right now. I thought it was just one place, turns out it's two. And as far as I can see down the river, there's tables. For all I know, there's another one, I don't know. <laughs> but it's a very popular place well, on a holiday anyway, maybe on weekends, because of its uniqueness. I mean, how many places you're gonna sit in a river as the current sweeps your feet? There's leaves going by, getting stuck on my feet. Oh, I think my thing just went off. They give you this and that's when you know you're, uh, it might not have been mine, it might have been this lady's. See, then they bring it down to the steps right here. So um, they don't have to walk through the water. So you have to, you have to get up from your seat and walk over there to receive your food. It says clearly on here, when beeps, when beep and flash, please take the meal. That's easy enough. So when this beep and flash, I will take the meal, um, which means I go over to the steps. I don't think we're having a meal. I think we're just having some coffees or something. Well, I don't know, V took, v took care of that. She's out milling around and when we were coming back here, she's like, well, where are we going? This doesn't look like anything. As soon as we got here, she loved it. But it does feel like you're on the road to nowhere on the way back here. And then the place just pops up and you come back and there's people sitting in the river in the cafe and they're making som tom up there and all kind of little snacks and stuff. Anyway, um, we'll take a look around here. But I think this is a really cool, kind of cool place to come out. Uh, about an hour's ride from Patia. Great riding roads out here, getting here, going back, etc. You don't have to take the motorway. And when you get here, it's something a little bit different. It's a little something a little bit more picturesque and maybe something that uh, people look at and go, huh, wow, I'd like to try that. So we moved, we were over there. We moved to here because we apparently picked the one and only table that doesn't have an umbrella. So now we got an umbrella <laughs> because it's drizzling a little bit and it's okay if our feet are wet, but we don't want our heads to get wet. What I would do, what I would, would, if, I, if I had it to do over again, I would have just uh, brought a pair of flip flops with me and then in the truck changed into those, came down here in the flip flops, milled around in the, stream with the flip-flops on, gone back to the truck, changed into my shoes, and off off we go. Um, not mandatory, so you can go in here barefooted, but it uh, might be better. It, it, some, it's half and half. Half the people are wearing flip-flops in here, the other half are barefooted. But that way, it's just, you don't have to do your shoe change down here at the riverside, because it's a little bit awkward doing that. But anyway, first timer. What a place to relax, huh? Look. <laughs> and uh, then we'll go to the next place which is kind of on the way home anyway we're making a little bit of a loop up here so actually at the little hamburger stand on the beach on Bang Sen Beach that was kind of our turnaround point and we have a stop here and then another stop that's even a little bit closer to home than here so you do hear these beepers going off incessantly somebody else's order is ready <laughs> started raining at the river place and, and, and we bailed uh, but it was fun really cool setting so 
We spent a, another hour or so back there though because I found a couple other really neat places that we'll revisit maybe next week. One of them looks really fun. But anyway, our fourth stop, our fourth and final stop brings us out here to the beach back south of Bang Sen but north of Shiracha. It's called the Bang Sen Seafood Club. The real reason I came here, I'll show you. They've got tents. They've got four uh, they're, they're fancy tents. I'm not even sure you call them tents. So they almost look like modular tents, but it, they actually call it glamping. And they only have four of them. And they're all booked up today. But I did take a quick peek. Here comes my drink. Thank you. Okay. You know, this whole thing's about everything being shut down for the Buddha day. And I got here and I forgot and I ordered a drink. And <laughs> I said, you can't. I ordered a bottle of beer for V and they said, oh, it's Buddha day. I'm like, <laughs> they got four of these tents and they're about 2,500 baht per night. But it's on, right on the beach. And I thought if you had four people and you each got a tent, you basically got the whole beach to yourself. It also comes with a use of these kayaks and breakfast comes with the room and I was very interested in that so we might come back and do that but I'd like to get enough people where we just have all four tents and we have the whole beach to ourselves all night. That's the real thing I wanted to show you here but it's a beautiful evening there's a guy playing a guitar and singing and we'll take a look around here and then we'll head it home. The crab was great, but I think it cost more than all of the other places we went today combined. It's 500 baht, I think. The combined total at the other places was about 500 baht. 100 baht first place, 100 baht third place, and I think 300 baht second place. <laughs> but it is good crab. That's what it costs. Now this other creature, this other thing's a strange creature. It's called a, a waffle, a waffle croissant. <laughs> croissant waffle. It's half waffle, half croissant. It has a very strange okay. texture. It has the texture of both. It kind of pulls apart like a croissant with the layers, but it looks like a waffle. It kind of eats a little bit like a waffle. It was good. We ordered ours with Nutella, but you can get it with just about anything. But, uh, I think that was only like 95 baht for that thing. So we split that. So I think we had our share today. Absolutely, indeed. I think we at least had our share today. But what a day it was. Uh, the, the Bang Sen Seafood Club here proved to be a, a great afternoon. But how about those tents? I'm just thinking, for, uh, you got four people, four couples, whatever. 2,500 baht a piece. So 10,000 baht baits basically rents you the beach for the night. You all have an accommodation. I'm a little concerned about washroom. There is like one big communal washroom you'd kind of all have to share and that you get a pass a key card for that. Anyway, definitely a, definitely a, maybe an option. But anyway, we had a great time between the noodle shop, the diner, the jungle cafe, and now the beach. But we will do something else next time because for this episode, gotta leave it off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.